I worked in the industry for 10 plus years while doing grad studies. I was project manager and before I joined, I worked with a lot of commercial builder and model construction companies. And we noticed there is inconsistency when it comes to building. There is quality issue, there is scheduling issue and costing issue. And I thought robotic has flexibility to account for those changes. And that's where we started this research. We designed the system you see behind us. And this system behind us is part of the first patent, which allows us to simplify the integration of robotic in the construction industry. Uh, we nominated this invention because I think it, it'll be revolutionary in the building industry. And what this is, is a versatile robot that will build all of it. And presumably you could even take it on the job site. Congratulations to Aladdin and his team. I uh, really enjoy working with you and I'm really excited that we like to move forward in the next, uh, the next phase of this and start a company. Our goal is to basically improve diagnostic screening. Women who wouldn't normally be tested for breast cancer spit out in this cup. And if there is any alarm bells or any levels that are high, go get a mammogram. So we're not wanting to eliminate the gold standard, which is the imaging and the biopsy. What we are trying to, to do is to spread a wider net for diagnosis. This will have a lot of potential, not only in healthcare, but also environmental contamination detection, as well as other fields. So congratulations to these groups. And I'm looking forward to this technology being adopted and applied um, in the industry settings to better our lives. The invention that Jamal and Clinton created utilizes the natural properties of a particular fungus to carry drugs across the blood-brain barrier and deliver them to the brain. People get sick. Uh, people suffer from all sorts of diseases. People suffer from immune diseases. People suffer from brain diseases. You know, we have a plethora of drugs that work effectively against them in the lab. And that's because we can inject those drugs directly into the brain. In reality though, in, in humans, we can't inject or it's scary to inject something into the brain directly. And so what happens is that these drugs, because they're injected into your veins instead, they're not delivered into the brain at high levels. And so what we're trying to do is utilize this fungi that has a natural attraction or natural tropism for the brain um, and put drugs in particles, attach those particles to this fungi, and as we inject those fungi, they then go to your brain. The drugs can be released from those particles and treat the patient. Congratulations to Mal and Clayton. This is a well-deserved accolade. It's been an absolute pleasure working with both of you, and I greatly look forward to seeing the inventions and technologies that come out of the Lewis Lab going forward. The invention came about through a corporate partnership with a company called 3D Matrix, which is based out of Japan. They licensed a technology called Rata 16. Um, we began looking into seeing if it was potentially anti-inflammatory. What we found is when Rata 16 combines with a mucosal surface, that it takes on anti-inflammatory properties. With the use of Rata 16, we may be able to control inflammation, thus preventing a patient from having to go on a systemic medication such as steroids. And are now hopefully going to be able to move this into a clinical trial in the next one to two years. She has been working on a project with a company already on uh, wound healing improvements, and she just observed something. And I think that's because she is Jennifer, she was able to not be tunnel visioned, but just uh, realized what she observed that it was very, very um, interesting. Um, well deserved, congratulations, and keep going. And I hope to hear from you many more uh, times that you have a new invention. So this specific disclosure is related to quantum benchmarking. So in layman terms, how do you compare two quantum computers, maybe two quantum computers in IBM or one quantum computer from IBM, another from Rigetti, if you are buying in the open market, how do you benchmark them? How do you compare them? And therefore your benchmark needs to consider initialization, computing and measurement. So it's an humbling experience because um, kind of inventors that's in University of Florida, they are world leaders. And uh, to be one of those six, it's kind of a big, big humbling and honoring experience. It's, it's, it's someone that is so enthusiastic about working in the future, like that Prabhat, is just an incredible wonder to hear his description, his grad students' descriptions of what it can do and where it'll be in a few years. 
Two of the most important receptors that my lab work on, works on right now is a receptor class called the ERRs and a receptor class called the Reverbs. And uh, my lab has been one of the first labs to develop uh, drug-like molecules that bind to these proteins in, in the body. And we've found that these receptors can facilitate many of the same physiological uh, pathways that are involved in exercise. In fact, maybe some of the benefits in brain, and uh, they, they do provide at least a portion of those benefits. Obesity is a huge problem in the United States, and there have been some great breakthroughs recently. The GLP-1 agonists, such as Ozempic, have been a game changer. But this is the next level. Congratulations to the Burris Lab and Dr. Burris for developing these molecules. I think that this is going to have a really great impact on the health and wellness of all the people who suffer from obesity.